Hey, good morning. We're off to uh, Europe today by Seoul. What time is it? It is five past four in the morning. We've been awake since half past three. I was really very fortunate enough yesterday morning to wake up uh, with a cold. So we're heading overseas with that. See if we can spread it throughout Asia and Europe. <laughs> Make it an international call. Um, we just finished packing and I think we're just about ready to catch our Uber. Very exciting. So tell, tell our friends what happened. What happened. Last week we decided to buy a new camera, so we bought a particular Sony camera. The one we're filming right the now. The one we're filming with right now. We went to the shops, we got it for what we thought was a really good price, like 800 something, and they gave us a bit of a discount, 800 and a bit less. Now we just got to the airport, we went to duty free, and it's like 640. And the alternative one we were looking at is like 540. Just trying to live with that, you know. <laughs> yeah. This is the local food in Australia. And I'm considering buying some because I miss it when I'm in Europe. <laughs> You're reading? I'm going to come up with reading now to get us out of the plane in case of an emergency. I'm hoping there'll be someone to help me because I can't pretend that I'm very good at understanding this. <laughs> but we are exit B. You like, are you enjoying the music? <laughs> yeah, it makes me feel ready to fight. Ready for action. It's a, yeah, it's a bit of an action movie. We're in Seoul. We just arrived after like a ten and a half hour flight. Um, the flight was a little odd because they turned the lights out of the trip, um, but otherwise it's fine. And now we're on a limousine bus into the city, so it should take an hour, hour and a half. Apparently because it's Saturday night, we're going to the biggest, busiest area of the city. May have been a mistake. <laughs> caught a bus from the airport, so a limousine bus, and the limousine bus driver insisted that we get off at a particular spot and insisted that we were staying at a particular hotel that we weren't staying at. So we got off at that spot, went to the hotel he insisted we were staying at and asked them and they told us we weren't staying at that hotel. Great shock for everybody. So we had to walk to our new hotel, which was kind of cool actually because we got to see a bit of down, down, downtown Myeongdong, I think it's called. Um, it seems like the pronunciation is close enough that no Koreans have been like, what? To me, so that works. Um, and now we're about to go out and investigate some Korean barbecue because when you're in Korea, what else would you eat but Korean barbecue? Morning. What day is today? Today is my birthday. Today I'm 36 years old and as a birthday present the people at the hotel gave us a rooftop breakfast instead of a basement breakfast. I think it's a pretty good upgrade, don't know, haven't checked out the basement breakfast but I doubt it's any good. And so it was on the rooftop overlooking Seoul. Um, it's a beautiful city with like mountains around it and yeah Lorenzo was showing me our proximity to North Korea. Pretty close. How was the barbecue? The barbecue was really good. Um, we had a beef plate and a pork plate. Nothing too scary. So when we were in Japan earlier, we had had like tongue and uh, chicken hearts and liver and stuff like that. But this was all just like normal or fairly normal cuts of meat. Uh, it was delicious. Had raw garlic. It was spicy. <laughs> wrap up of Korea. So now we're on the plane, we're about to hit the road. I have a big simple. 
I just thought I should point it out in case it's awkward. Um, we had bibimbap for lunch, and we had to get advice from the man sitting next to us on how to eat it. Apparently, you have to stir the rice in. Other condiments that are in the little bowls, you don't stir them in, you just eat them separately. You stir with your chopsticks. Once you've stirred, you eat with your spoon. Thank you, man sitting next to us. It was delicious.